Hello, my name is Ron Grover and I'm an application engineer with Go Engineer. There are often times when copying an existing sketch in your design makes more sense than creating a new sketch. In this video I'm going to illustrate how to copy a sketch using two different methods. There's a copy and paste method and a derived sketch method. So let's look at the copy and paste method first. I have this sketch here that's uh, driving this arrow cut feature and in order to copy the sketch I'm going to select the sketch from the design tree and by either using control C and control V or going edit uh, to the edit menu and copy and then selecting a plane and hitting control V or edit and paste I can create a copy of the sketch which can then be edited uh, as needed. So this copy of the sketch is uh, completely uh, unlinked or unrelated to the parent sketch uh, other than just being a direct copy of it. So I can come in and make changes to the dimensional values. Uh, I can position it using uh, dimensions and relations, etc. Uh, I can click and drag it around uh, as I need. So that's pretty straightforward. That's the copy and paste method. Uh, I'll go ahead and change the color of this sketch to indicate that this is a copied and pasted sketch. Now let's look at the second method. The second method is uh, the derived sketch method. Uh, and if you haven't used or not familiar with this method, it's a great way to produce an exact copy of the sketch. Uh, one of the advantages to using a derived sketch is that it maintains uh, its link back to the originating sketch, which means that any change that I make in the original sketch will also be propagated through to the derived sketch. So let's take a look at how to do the derived sketch. Uh, in order to do the derived sketch, I have to select the sketch and a face or plane uh, on which to place the derived copy. So I'm going to go ahead and select this arrow sketch. I'll control select this face. Uh, that's where I want to put the derived sketch. And I'll go to the insert menu. And I have derived sketch here as an option. So go ahead and click that. That immediately puts me into edit sketch mode uh, and from here I can go ahead and uh, drag the sketch and position it as needed. Uh, now one thing to note is I have no relations or dimensions that are showing on this sketch and that is because it, because it is linked back to the parent sketch. Uh, in order to uh, move it or rotate it or, or manipulate it in any way, uh, really what I need to do is create some relations to uh, some external geometry. So I'm going to create a, a parallel relation between that center line and the edge uh, of my part. I'll go ahead and drag that into position. And if I wanted to, I could go in and add uh, additional dimensions and uh, and whatnot to uh, to go ahead and uh, define the position of this uh, sketch. So I'll just go ahead and add a add dimension here. We'll say that's inch and a half, and I'll call that good for right now. Uh, I don't need to uh, go in and make any other changes. So here you can see I've got uh, copies of this uh, original sketch. Uh, the red sketch here is a, using the copy and paste method and the yellow sketch is a direct copy of the originating sketch. Now if I go back in and edit this arrow sketch we can uh, see how the uh, two different methods come into play. I'll go ahead and just add a sketch fillet here to this particular arrow sketch. And let's say I'll fill those corners. Go ahead and click OK. And now you can see that the uh, derived sketch has been updated uh, with the changes to the originating sketch, uh, while the copy and pasted sketch uh, does not. Now if I do need to make any changes to the derived sketch, let's say I want to make it an independent copy, I can right click on the derived sketch here in the design tree, you'll notice sketch 3 has derived behind it. If I right click on it, there is an underive option that actually breaks the link between the originating sketch and the copy of the sketch. Now if I go in and edit that sketch, you can see that I can make changes to it, drag things around. Uh, unfortunately, it does not carry with it any of the dimensions or relations from the originating sketch, so I'd have to go back in and add all those again. So again, uh, two different methods you can use to copy sketches in your design. This has been Ron Grover with GoEngineer. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.